Mm, G'day, Tragic here, and welcome to May tonight. This is round one, turn one of Dungeon Lords. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. So, it is Goldeck is going first, and because he's going first, he gets to place the initial uh, dungeons. And he's going to put one here. And he's going to put one up here. Now the way it works is that every time a village is revealed, you place a dungeon. Every time a monastery is revealed, you place a dragon dungeon. Okay. So. Let's zoom over and do his turn. He's got tons of movement. And we need five movement to get into here. So he's going to take the blue. Oop, if I can remember how to play. And he's going to go four movement. Five, six. And that's going to take him into the dungeon. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay. So that's his turn. Now we have Etheria. Now she hasn't got a particularly good hand. She did a rethink to try and get something better, but she ended up basically pretty much getting the same thing. So she is going to go four. Uh, actually, what's her plan again? Yeah, her plan is just to go one, two, and move one step closer. So that is one, two into here. And then she's going to use this to power and gain a green crystal. So this one, if you just play it with a mana, gain a crystal. Pretty simple. Okay. So... And third player, another one with tons of move. Hmm. Three, six, nine. He's going to go four, five, six. It's going to take her to here. Now, can we kill this person this turn? I don't believe so. So, we're just going to... Well, we probably could, but there's no need. Yablamo. And finally... He has the terrible start. Uh, what have we got up here? Any decent villages? Now, remember, this is Dungeon Lord. So the whole focus of this quest is to go into dungeons. And if you look at dungeons, so down here, dungeons are not allowed to uh, take units. So units are really an afterthought in this particular quest. I mean, you do want them because you want to be able to kill things. On the map but the majority there's no sieging cities it's all about dungeon combat which really changes the the feeling of the of the game thugs i love thugs thugs are the best five five uh, uh defense they're just so good at soaking up damage anyway whatever what am i saying uh so what you want is you want to find units that have map abilities like foresters. These guys have move two, for example, or healers or crystal generators and stuff like that. They're the kind of units you're looking for in dungeon, in the dungeon things. And this is a good one here and it can be recruited at a village. So I think that might be his best bet is to get here. So he needs four movement and he has a grand total of four and there is even a blue die. 
So, well, actually, let's have a look at it. He's got four movement. Move cost of one terrain type is reduced this turn to a minimum of two. So, that's actually two to get through here. And these are all, so that's two, four, six. So, I think he can just snipe. Yeah, I think he's just going to go two. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Because you can move through Mage Knights. So, he's done his movement. And he's used his die. So this guy is going to attack because what happened is he moved into here and then he moved directly across. And whenever you are, I just grab that token again. Oop. Whenever you move from face to face against a pug, you automatically provoke it. So this guy's going to attack. He's a pretty weak, wimpy attack though, so we're not too worried. Yeah, so he's attacking for two different attacks at four defense. So we're gonna defend once against one attack. We're gonna take one wound, and then we're gonna do both of these guys without mana, because we've already spent our mana. So that's attack two, attack two, which is four, which kills him. So, yeah, blam, that's done. Okay, so that gives him plus two. It's not a particularly good monster to kill, but he has done something. So we don't get a level up, unfortunately, but you know what we do do? We finish on a gold mana gen on a glade and because we're finishing on a glade we get to heal so that uh, is healed and then we draw to five okay so that's the end of his turn let's go back to the first player and draw five cards crystal joy is out this is a, a fantastic card, but really works best. I should have taken uh, Planning. Planning's the card I really should take with uh, Gold X because it allows you to draw a lot more cards and therefore a lot more discards. Still no real movement though. Gold X doesn't need movement. We just need to see if, determine if we can actually kill a person here. So what have we got here? We have got a block and we've got a total assuming we can power both these cards which we can of uh, four, five, six, seven attacks. A seven attack is actually enough to kill most of the uh, early, most of the most of the dungeon monsters. There's, there's a number with physical resistance but the problem is most of the dungeon monsters have a six attack, which means we'll be very, very hard pressed to get this to work. So what I'm actually going to do instead is, uh, you know what I forgot? He did finish his turn on a white mine. I've, so he gained a white crystal. So that's actually even better. That means he's got five block right here. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this monster and see if we can do it. Oop, keep pressing the wrong buttons. Let's flip it over. You bloing! Oh wow. That is an insane opening monster. Oh no. That's 14 block we need to produce, which is impossible. And if we do, we're gonna take four damage. 
Now the reason it's 14 block is because it's got an element to it, right? So we're going to take four, so we've got two defense, right? So the way you work out damage is that you just keep going up in the defense until you cover it. So it's two, four, six, seven. I'll do it with this visually so you can see. So it's two, four, uh, four, six, seven. Okay, so that's four uh, damage, but it doesn't matter because we're not actually knocked out because we get knocked out at five. There's nothing we can do to stop that because, well, we can't produce 14 block. So that is, this is a terrible, terrible opening start. So now we need to produce six attack, which isn't hard for us at all. We can just go four and I think I'm going to do five, six. I don't really want to get rid of this block, but uh, I'm going to do it anyway. That's four, five, six physical attack. So he's killed. So these all come into our hand, and these are destroyed. Okay, so that's plus four at least, so at least he levels up. Hopefully he'll get some kind of, I'm just going to copy this, uh, this monster. Right, so that was a terrible opening monster. That was probably one of the worst monsters we could have gotten. But on the plus side, we leveled up. Ah, we've got a red crystal and we've got motivation. I'm not a big fan of motivation, so I think I'm going to chuck that into the offer. And we're looking for a heal spell. We've got Blood of Ancients, no thank you. We've got Blood Ritual, no thank you. We do have Ambush, so I think that's pretty much the only one that's worth taking for us, so you blam. Not that we're going to get the power to draw for a while, to be honest. But we do have Crystal Joy, which is going to be pretty handy for us, because we can, as long as we can power it with blue, we can throw away wounds, so our turn won't be completely wasted. So that's actually not too bad. Okay, here's just a quick fix. I've just taken all the other stuff off the board so it doesn't nothing gets spoilt. I just saw this in the editing. For starters, I put him down a reputation for some reason, so he uh, goes back up one. And also, this was a elementalist faction, so we're supposed to take one of these. Yoink. And we get Mystical Map. Okay, excellent. I should probably use the end turn buttons. So now it is red. So she's looking for a three, or preferably a uh, five, I believe it is, to get into a swamp. Yeah. So let's draw a two five. Look at all that black. That's terrible. Wow, that is. That, look at that mana pool. That is seriously bad. <laughs> Four blacks. Awesome. Uh, I think I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Yonk. Okay. We don't use any mana. And now we have Wolfhawk. Wolfhawk was planning to head to where this guy was, but he sort of beat him to it. So she's looking to get to here now or to here. So that is five, six, seven. Terrible. We're really, I'm a bit rusty, I think. Let's draw to five. We have no movement at all.
going to have to go one, two, three, and just move this way. Oh, he's a nice, easy one to kill. That's handy. And finally, we have the dwarf, and he starts with a gold mana. And he draws to five. He does have planning, but you need to have, you know, two cards or more in your hand for it to trigger. So. I think he's just going to go bam and gold and take a blue. Actually, let me have a look here. What's he got in his discard? Yeah, actually, I think he's going to take a white. Okay. One more turn. It's Goldex's turn. Uh, didn't I just... Yeah, I've already done Goldex. Goldex actually uh, beat that dungeon. Oh, yeah. But Goldex is wounded like a mofo right now. So, unfortunately, there is no blue, but he's going to activate the crystal and the red just because he, uh, that seems such a waste. You know what? I'm just going to discard swiftness and put all these in the discard. Okay, red. Flip. Oh, look at this. We need four block and we need eight attack, which I don't think we can do. We do have a gold crystal, though. Blam. And we need three to move in there. Let me just get this token so we can see it, see what we're dealing with. So we have to block this because it's got paralyzed, right? So it's four block. Yeah, there's no way we can do this, actually. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go four movement. And I need five, and I'm just going to go your blam for five. I, don't, I really don't like this card much. A lot of people love it, but it's good later in the game, but early game it's just such a pain to use because it's got to use two cards. So I've produced four, five, or I could just, you know, do that. Either way, I have moved onto here and I'm going to take a blue crystal. Okay. Three, let's draw to five. Lots of movement. Okay, so we need three movement to get in. We need five block and six attack. So we've got five block. There is no blue mana, but we have no attack of any sort. So we can't actually use this, do this yet. But we're pretty much set. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to produce a red crystal. Look at that mana source. Four black. That is terrible. And finally, let's draw to six cards now because we have planning trigger and see what we've got to do with this guy oh yeah he's still in here so 
he now has I oh, took the wrong crystal he took a white if he didn't take that white crystal we would have been able to do this right so we have a gold because we're starting on one of these things so let me see if we can do this so we've got a white we've got a gold we've got a gold die and a white die yeah he doesn't really have a lot of choice here so I think what he's gonna do he's gonna stay where he is and he's just gonna go two and gold pay four and put this out oh dear I accidentally picked up a whole bunch at once by some mistake Oh, that's handy. A monster. So he spent the gold mana. Let's have a look at this guy. Three block, five attack. There's five attack. There's a heal in here too. So let's have a look here. This guy attacks for three. So we're going to take four wounds because he has brutal. But we clear one. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Why not? So I'm going to go. That's three, four, five attack. That kills him, and we're going to take two wounds. But it's brutal, so we take double. So that's four wounds, but doesn't knock us out. And that is the end of that. And that gives him three. Takes him to five and gives him another plus. And he finally levels up. Ooh, regenerate. This could be handy. Pay a mana of any color and throw away a wound from your hand. If you use green mana to do this, or you have at least one, or you have the least fame, then also draw a card. Hmm, interesting. That could be very handy. Fork lightning, yeah. Let's let's take uh, let's take the heal since we just took all that damage. I actually prefer fork lightning, but we're not attacking cities, so we, you know we're, we're basically only fighting single monsters. Now you can't use your uh, skills the turn you got them, but we do finish on a glade, so we get to throw one wound away, and I get to have a gold mana next turn. Okay. Oh wait, he has to uh, take a take a spell, doesn't he? Your blamo. Oh, decompose. Gee, what is with the the blood rituals? <laughs> when you play this card, throw away an action card from your hand. Now, throw away away means remove from the game. Gain two crystals who are eventually of the same color as the thrown away card. I um, guess I'm going to take this. I actually think this card is a lot better than people give credit for. And let's go. We can get rid of Threaten, for example, and gain a crystal of every color or color except red. Like I said, you know, we don't really need units in this particular quest. Okay, and that is the end of our first bunch of turns. And it's been a pretty terrible start, really. We had a whole bunch of swamps sort of locking us in. And then we had some terrible die draws. Look at that. That is unbelievable. That's one of the worst dies I've ever seen. Crazy. Okay. 
I'll see you guys next time.